Hello, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to explain something that uh, was an issue for me and uh, will probably be an issue for you if you're going to install and use Windows XP. So uh, Windows XP, when you install it on VirtualBox and you go in and you try to use the internet at all, uh, you, you may find that it doesn't seem to work. Uh, you can't get the network settings to work correctly. And the reason for that is Windows XP does not ship with the drivers that you need to be able to use the internet correctly. However, there is a simple workaround. So let me show you this. If we go to our Windows XP virtual machine, we click settings. And then as you might expect, we go to network. Then, okay, so you'll see the NAT here. That's uh, attached to NAT. That's uh, network something something. I don't remember what that stands for. Uh, network adapter something. Anywho, um, if you click advanced here, you'll see this. Um, this is the actual one you want to use. So it starts off with this one, Intel Pro 1000 MT Desktop. And that one, there's no drivers on Windows XP for that one. So what you want to do is switch it to this one, PC Net Fast 3. AM79C973. So this might be slightly different, but you want the one that says PC Net Fast 3 because that's one of the network adapters. No, not two, three. Um, dude, what the heck? I think my mouse is being weird again. Okay, so um, yeah, you want to select PC Net Fast 3. Uh, that's the one that Win Windows XP can connect to um, without installing anything else or having any other problems with it. So we'll start it up here and see if our internet works. Hopefully it will be no big deal. We'll put that in the middle there. Uh, put it back in the middle there. <laughs> Keeps moving around on me. So uh, I don't know how many people will still be using Windows XP, but it's very useful for still testing things like IE8 and uh, some older software. Uh, if you still need to do that, I know a lot of businesses still use Windows uh, XP for a lot of things. Uh, a lot of IT departments still haven't upgraded in older companies, uh, bigger IT departments. So uh, it's it's really useful to still you know know how to use that. So. Uh, so if we go to internet, we should see some sort of page. Hey, we got to MSN. Um, so yes, so it does work now that we changed our, our network adapter. Let's see if we can make this bigger. Okay. That native scaling there is from the uh, guest editions that we have installed. If you look down in the bottom right corner here. The guest editions that we installed before makes it so that you can actually scale that um, without uh, too many problems. So anyway, MSN. So now we can go to Microsoft.com. It's wanting us to update things already, of course, because this is how many years old. Okay, so Internet Explorer 6 can't even open Microsoft.com, which I find somewhat comical, to be honest with you. So anyway, we can install software uh, through the pass-through folder that we uh, put together earlier. Yeah, see, they're having script problems on their own website. So anyway, we will hop out of that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how that network adapter thing works, because uh, that's probably a problem that uh, you know a lot of people will run into. Uh, trying to use Windows XP. So if you are in that old world and trying to install that, um, that should be helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.